roaches, spoiled milk, and cross-contamination were just some of the issues found at Midland's restaurants this week. I've got the details on all of this, plus your lowest and highest scores in this week's restaurant report card. We're starting right here in the capital city where 1010 Oriental Restaurant on Clemson Road scored a 79. The inspector says there were roaches crawling up the walls behind shelving and equipment, roaches crawling into the ceiling over the dish line, roaches crawling over the dirty side of the dish line, and roaches crawling in the dining area. The restaurant was also cited because the dish machine was not sanitizing and dirty containers were stored as clean. Over in Sumter County, Shoney's of Sumter on South Pike Street scored a 78. According to the report, an employee handled raw link sausage with their bare hands, then handled utensils and ready to eat foods without washing their hands first. Food items on the buffet were not kept underneath the sneeze guard, and some of the food in the walk-in freezer was not date marked. Also in Sumter County, Ruby Tuesday on Broad Street scored a 78. The inspector says an employee washed their hands without using soap. An employee was also seen cleaning the floor, then going back to work at the cook and prep line without washing their hands before putting on gloves. Another violation? The inspector found a gallon of spoiled milk in one of the coolers. Now on to the Hall of Fame, where we celebrate the places that scored a 100. Southern Pride Catering on Tahoe Drive in Sumter, Little River Landing on Hollywood Road in Saluda, Gorilla Boost on Sumter Street in Columbia. Kathy's Country Cooking on Kinnerly Road in Orangeburg. Top China on North Wheeler Avenue in Prosperity. And Cake Collection Boutique on St. Andrews Road in Columbia. All these places dished up perfect scores. Now for the other restaurants and grocery store that scored below a 90, head on over to WLTX.com. For Restaurant Report Card, I'm Whitney Sullivan.